I will continue to say this. Whenever women go to Reddit and ask, am I the a-hole? It's typically women asking for permission and validation to feel normal human being emotions. And so this one is no different. This continues the whole child-free movement conversation. And this is about boundaries. Boundaries. Let's keep that in mind as I get ready to read this one. Would I be the a-hole for thinking about calling off my engagement because my fiancé lied to his family about us having kids? That title alone should be enough. It's enough. I read the whole thing. It's enough. Okay. My fiancé, who's 23, and I am 22, plan to get married next year. Despite having set a date, there are still many things to organize, but I'm considering postponing or even canceling the wedding. For additional context, when we started our relationship, I told him that I had always been certain I didn't want to have children. In my country, which is not the United States, a woman wanting to undergo surgery faces many obstacles, and in most cases, doctors refuse to perform the procedure. This is aside from the complications women experience, unlike men who undergo vasectomies. When I told him about not wanting children, he mentioned he wasn't considering them either. However, when I asked about vasectomy, he admitted hesitating in case he changed his mind. Understanding his perspective, we dropped the topic. We continued dating for three more years, and during a vacation four months ago, he proposed on the beach. We decided to marry on our first date anniversary. I revisited the child topic, anticipating marital pressures. He confirmed our shared stance. We shared the news with my parents, who congratulated us joyfully. The issue arose when we visited his parents. He's the youngest with two older brothers and one older sister, all married with children. During dinner, during the dinner we had um, to celebrate our visit, we announced our engagement, and everyone congratulated us. Most conversation revolved around wedding preparations, the venue, the guest list, and so on. In that moment, his sister asked us how many children we were planning to have. Keep in mind that my fiance had asked me in the past to avoid stating outright that we wouldn't have children in front of his parents, knowing it could lead to arguments. I recalled his request, but wasn't sure how to respond this time. We typically said we weren't certain about the topic yet, but I didn't want to lie, considering the significant step we were taking. I felt we needed to be honest to prevent future issues. My fiance stepped in and mentioned we would have only one child. His father and one of his brothers started teasing him for wanting just one, suggested we should aim for at least three like the rest so we could experience the joy of a large family like everyone else. He laughed along with them, making jokes about wanting more if I didn't make it difficult for him. At first, I planned to discuss it with him after dinner, but after the last comment, I left my plate, stood up, and asked him to join me in the backyard. It took him a moment, but he followed, avoiding direct eye contact and commented that my sudden departure was a bit rude. When I questioned him about what he had said, he gave evasive responses, reiterating the desire to avoid arguments. I insisted that we should be truthful now to prevent future problems, but he resisted. I told him I wouldn't go along with the lie. As I was about to leave, he revealed he had changed his mind about having children, wanting several. He had been thinking about it for months before proposing, I reminded him of our previous conversation, and he admitted he hoped to convince me after marriage. I told him I wouldn't change my mind, and out of nowhere, he started insulting me, calling me stupid, arrogant, and selfish, and selfish person for wanting to deprive him of the best experience in the world. I didn't expect him to treat me that way, so instead of responding, I went back to his family and revealed the whole truth, stating that I would never change my mind. I then packed my bags and left. Now I'm at a hotel, and after talking to my family who told me they had crossed the line, I decided I needed to vent. I was always upfront with him about my desires and asked for honesty. Not only did he lie, but he insulted me when he realized he couldn't manipulate me. That's why I'm considering canceling everything and ending the relationship. Would I be the a-hole? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Even outside of the whole child-free situation, thinking that you're going to insult me after a lying? What? What? The nerve and the gall. But she is young. She's in her early 20s and she's still considering his opinion and his validation. And so 
that's why I'm just saying, absolutely not. You're not the a-hole. You are valid in your response and your, you know, the how you feel is valid because he did insult you. He did try to manipulate you and he did lie about his intention. It is best to walk away now before significant time, energy, and resources are poured into a marriage that won't work. It won't work because child-free women don't want kids and then being manipulated into having them would be a terrible, terrible situation. Okay, some of the comments. Be very grateful he showed you who he is before you married him. The lying and sneakiness is bad enough, but insulting you for not wanting children? No, you would not be the a-hole. In fact, I think you would be the a-hole if you didn't break up with him. She would be the a-hole to herself. She would be causing herself pain. Okay, this person. I think the thing I'm not seeing enough here is the fiance saying the OP is depriving him of the best experience in the world. Like if he's talking about multiple children, we're talking about the OP growing multiple whole ass humans inside of her over the course of several years on and off. Even the best of pregnancies can be rough. That's leaving aside complications, which aren't exactly common, but aren't unheard of um, rarity either. A recent Am I the A-Hole post mentioned a mother developing chronic back pain after a second child. Just for instance, insulting her is bad, but the OP is trying to trick, coerce, and outright bully OP into undergoing um, a significant change to her body several times. Also, he can have the experience with no thought of the experience she's being subjected, I mean, that she's being expected to have with all the problems that come along um, with the pregnancy. Yes, there are all kinds of complications that can come along with having babies, hormone changes, body changes, um, and that is in the best of situations. Not to mention, what about the care in her country? What about who's going to take care of these best experiences um, that this man has ever had? This person, not only that, but I bet he assumes she'll do the vast majority of child rearing. OP needs to run fast and never look back. Absolutely. Because obviously she, as the woman, would be doing most of the child rearing because most moms do most of the child rearing. This person says, and even after all that, that's why I'm considering canceling everything and ending the relationship. She's only considering ending the relationship. Um, WTF, why isn't this an immediate deal breaker? And this person, like, pump the brakes a little bit. It's not... It's not immediate because she's heartbroken. And despite people being a-holes, it's very hard to toss love aside after just one instance of him being a total prick. It's not. It's like that phenomenon of women leaving once they just stop trying for a long time. They fall out of love, but go through the motions for a while, despite planning their exit and just being done with their husband's constant BS. Poor OP got blindsided all at once. Absolutely. Um, but she still has the presence of mind to understand that she's being manipulated. So she's just working it out in her brain. So this, this is just for the younger ladies who may not have those hard boundaries and the reflexes to speak on those hard boundaries. Yes, walking away is perfectly fine. You are perfectly validated in feeling insulted and the, the pain of walking away now is much easier than having to unravel a life after divorce, after, I'm sorry, after marriage and get your life back in order, especially if you had kids that you didn't want to have. You guys go ahead, jump in the comments. Let me know what you think about this one. Um, like, comment, share.